Hi guys, this is always back with another tutorial of AutoCAD Essential Training. In this video, I will discuss user coordinate system. By default, AutoCAD uses word coordinate system. In short, it's WCS. It's possible to create your own coordinate system, which is called UCS, user coordinate system, which can have different origin point. In this video, I will show you how you can create user coordinate system and draw according to that UCS. So I opened one of my drawing and what I'm going to do, oh, turn on UCS icon by typing UCS icon command on keyboard and now you can select on, press enter and now on the left you can see that we got X and Y axis which is UCS. So I've got this X and Y axis and I've got this box here. I can click on it and I can move this wherever I want. If I click on this and I can even rotate this UCS. I can move this UCS to any different location and I can rotate it wherever I want. So let's say I want to rotate this by the angle of this polygon so I can move this UCS by clicking on this button and snap it to the end point and I select this X, y, X axis and I can just snap it to this end point. Now my UCS is basically according to this line. So let's say I'll draw a line now and I turn on my ortho. And as you know that ortho only works with 90 degree angle. So I start a line by here and now basically if you draw a line as you can see that it's basically not zero degree angle but it's actually taking this as zero degree angle. So now if I move my cursor, so basically the line is drawing according to this UCS. To go back to the word UCS, what you have to do, type UCS, enter, and here we got a few options, space, name, object, preview, word view, there you get the word option. Click on this and your UCS is going back to word. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to go and explode this box, this polygon, sorry. And now I want to move my UCS to this object. So I type UCS, press enter, and now I've got a few options here. Face means you can use it in 3D. So if you want to put your UCS according to the face, you can do that. You can use named, let's say if you've got a layer of stair, let's say any layer you want to select, you can do that as well. But it's going to ask you to select an object. But for now, I'm going to show you one thing that ob about objects. So let's say I want to move my UCS according to this object. So I'm going to click on this object and now I'll select this line. If, as you can see that when I'm hovering over my cursor to each line, my UCS is changing. Okay, so I'll click here. And now, while my UCS is according to this line, what I have to do is I can select my stretch command. I can select these objects and I can even stretch. So if I turn on my ortho, as you can see that it's stretching according to x-axis. So my angle will not be changed. So these are the benefits of using UCS. Okay, now let's have a look. I'll go by, I go bring my UCS back to Word by typing UCS, click on a word, and I will select my UCS, and I click on this box, and I move my UCS about I turn off my auto by pressing F8 and I'm gonna snap my UCS about here. Now I'll show you that how you can rotate your UCS or any axis according to the angle. So I type UCS and now I've got a few options here. I've got X, Y and Z and Z axis. So let's draw X. I can type X and press spacebar from keyboard and now let's say I want to move X axis to 90 degrees or 180 degrees so as you can see that our y axis has gone back to down because x axis is rotated to 90 degrees we got a z axis but we can't see that in a 3d drawing so i'll try ucs again and what i want to do i'm going to rotate my ucs according to z axis i can click here i can type that and now if i move my cursor as you can see our x and y axis are rotating so i can actually give the value to z axis let's say 45 degrees so now our axis is moved to 45 degrees. So you can actually type values on keyboard. And now let's have a look at another thing about UCS. I type UCS command. And what I will do is 
take my UCS back to Word, and then I type UCS again. Press Enter. And now I will move object. Sorry, I will change my UCS and take it to the object. Let's say I will put my UCS according to this line. And now, let's say, I'm um, giving you an example that if you got a paper on the table with this drawing, and you want to rotate the paper, you're not basically moving a drawing or rotating a drawing, but you just move your, rotate your paper to just have a look at the different sides. You can do that. There's a command called plane, P-L-A-N, type plane, and now it's going to ask you that if it wants to use current UCS, a uh, UCS you want to define, uh, you want to see that word. So if I select current UCS, and now as you can see that my drawing has been rotated. It actually did not rotate, but it's AutoCAD is just showing me that drawing according to this UCS. To go back to your use word UCS, you can type UCS and select a word here, and it will take you back to the word command. And now go plane and select word to go back to your normal UCS. Alright guys, that's it for UCS. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.